In this video, you'll learn how to add context buttons to view items, thus transforming the view into an interactive image gallery. Since the Win Explorer view can be treated as an image gallery with a data source, you may want to allow end-user interaction with these images. This can be done using the Context Buttons feature. First, set the view style to extra large. This will provide enough space for context buttons within the image area. Then remove the text column from the column set. Launch the app to see that only images are displayed now. Next, locate the Context Buttons property and invoke the Editor dialog. Here, you can add context buttons shared by all view items. There are three button types, simple push buttons, check buttons, and rating controls. Select a simple context button, add it to the collection, and change its name to Context Title Button. In a similar fashion, add another simple button, a check button, and a rating control. The first push button will work as a label displaying the car model name. For the time being, set its caption to model and align it to middle top. For the second button, select the question mark image from the DevExpress icon gallery. This button will display additional car information. Change the alignment property to move this button to the upper right corner. The rating item will allow end users to rate cars. Move it to the middle bottom position. By default, buttons are displayed over the underlying image when you hover the corresponding areas. You can also enable top and bottom panels that will appear as containers for the buttons. Expand the Context Button Options property. Set the top and bottom panel's background color to 150 000, 000, 000 which is a semi-transparent black color. Then add padding for both panels and run the application to see the result. The panels have appeared, but now there's not enough contrast between the panel and the button colors. Return to the Context Buttons Editor and set the foreground color to Gainsboro for all items. Make sure to turn on the Glyph Skinning feature so that the button icons will be painted with the same color. Then, launch the app again to see that all colors have been applied. To properly initialize checkboxes and title labels, handle the Context Button Customize event. It allows you to customize a button before it is displayed in an item. To set the value in the title button, set its caption property to the model name column value in the current record. Similarly, set the check button's checked property depending on the in stock column value. Now run the application to see the changes. Car models are displayed in the top panel, and check boxes are indicating which cars are in stock. Finally, handle the context button click event, which fires for any clicked button regardless of its type. First, determine which button has been clicked. If it is the question mark button, display a message box with additional information about the car, which is comprised of field values from the same data record. Now run the application and click the question mark button in one of the items to see the message box.